Hey, it's a beautiful day. I hope you're feeling great. I have a, a message for you. I gotta find my card. But I hope you're having a wonderful day, you guys. Um, remember, if the shoe doesn't fit, don't put it on. Okay? Let me get an angel guide message. Let's get an angel guide message. What do we need to know? What's important today? Um, we have blessings and abundance. Blessings and abundance. Hmm. Then we have signs and reminders and holy love. So you could be getting signed and signs and reminders um, about this holy love. Uh, this this yeah. I'm, this is gonna be short because I'm in between working right now. But um, hey, everybody. Blessings and abundance, signs and reminders, and holy love. So just know that you're blessed. I feel like there's a, a, a windfall of abundance. I feel like God is trying to remind you that you are loved, that you are blessed, and that there is a holy love for you, for some of you here. There's some kind of love. There's something holy about it. It's as delicate as a rose. So pay attention to the signs because I feel like you guys are being sent reminders for something that you may have asked for, okay? And just pay attention because it could be on its way to you. It could be it's on its way to you right now. I'm okay, I'm hanging in there. I'm, I'm battling some things personally, but I'm hanging in there. I'm, I'm taking these, these things as lessons and um, I'm hanging in there. I've recently gotten my heart broken um, and I'm, deal I'm dealing with that, okay? Uh, but I'm, I'm hanging in there. Okay. And I'm believing I'm trusting God. I'm believing that he will come through just like he said he would. Okay. And I'm embracing the change and, and things that are going on in my life. Okay. I'm embracing the things that I can't change. I'm accepting that and I'm doing the things that I can to make a difference. Okay. Um, and I encourage you guys to do the same. Thing. So let's get some of this cosmic, um, excuse me, African God is rising to go along with that angel God message that we got about the blessings and abundance. Thank you so much, beautiful. I appreciate it. So let's see here. Um, African God is rising oracle message. Whoa. All right. We have intuition. Yeah. Trust your intuition at this time. And we have feeling safe. Okay, I receive that energy. I receive that loving energy. We have intuition and feeling safe. And then we have alchemy. Yeah, I feel like some somebody here is, is very powerful here. Someone here is trusting their intuition. I feel like you're staying safe by that. Someone has braids. Someone's thinking of braiding their hair. Trust your intuition at this time because you are definitely being guided. Um, you're being sent information. You're being sent, like I, that card said, signs are, wow, signs and reminders. So we have secrets revealed. So secrets are being revealed at this time. And then we have worthiness. Know that you are worthy of, of what is, is, is being revealed to you, of what is being sent to you. There's a lot of cups here that are being filled. A lot of cups. There's nobody even holding <laughs> there's nobody even pouring it so it's by faith it's faith and and the magic alone that is that's pouring into this so hold on to your faith hold on to this okay whatever this is these secret i told y'all there was some some energy in the atmosphere where secrets are being revealed things are the truth is coming out there's healing there's restoration look at a radical rebirth here Okay, there's healing and restoration in this, in whatever this is, this tumultuous time. I'm hearing tumultuous, tumultuous, tumultuous. In this tumultuous time, there's, you, you're going to find peace here some kind of way. But maybe by taming the beast. I don't know. Some of you have tamed the beast, but there's some kind of change. There's some kind of change here. I'm going to put this away and get something else. Because like I said... 
I'm low on time right now. But check this out. There's something here that you, you, you need to pay attention to. Let's get some New Orleans Oracle. See what the New Orleans Oracle got to say. Let's get these messages, huh? Because <laughs> I'm receiving it too. Let's see. What's going on here? Wow. Awakening. So there's some kind of awakening. Somebody's awakening to something. When you awakening, when you awaken to something, it's like an epiphany. You know, it's like, whoa. You know, you woke up to it. Maybe you were blind to it first and now you see it. So like I said, there could be some secrets being revealed here. There's some things that are are going on here that are taking place. And I feel like we're awakening to those things. Heart chakra being activated. Root chakra. The fire inside of us is burning. Tell us more, please. Yeah, look, gratitude. Give gratitude. Things are coming into balance. I'm also getting some kind of past life love energy. Somebody's awakening to some kind of love. Look at that. We got abundance. So you have blessings and abundance and abundance. There's something that ended here with um, with the number 19 breaking down to a 10. The number 19 is also the sun card in the tarot, which is letting me know that there's some kind of expansion, happiness, growth, joy, peace. Um, something great is happening right here. I feel like you don't expect this. Or maybe you are. And it's coming in, but it's least when you least expect it here. Yeah, some, look, pay attention to your dreams. You're being guided here, okay? Something is ending. Something's closing out because something new is coming in. But you got to make sure that you catch these dreams. You see that dream catcher? There's something in, there's something in your dreams. You be Pay attention to the signs and reminders. Feathers are important for some of you. Yeah, you're being guided to share your gifts as well. Share your gifts. Some of you are talented. Look, there's a storm here. This is the end of a cycle. I told you guys that. There's a storm that's ending here. The end of a cycle. Okay? Something something ending. Something ending for you. But it's some it's the birth of something new. It's gonna it's it says radical rebirth. It's some kind of, of change here. It's a major upheaval, a major change. Whether you like it or not, it's it's happening. Whether you want it to happen or not, it's happening. So, look, and it's going to bring in peace. This is going to bring in some kind of peace. Thanks for that clarification. I told y'all. There's a blessing in the storm. Peace be still. You know, when, when there was a storm, there was a storm going on, and everybody was on the boat, and Jesus was taking a nap, and the people was like, "Oh my gosh, it's a storm." Oh, what we gonna do? And Jesus was taking a nap. He he had to take him a little nap in the midst of the storm. Sometimes you gotta take a nap in a storm and let the Lord do what He do because we know after everybody was freaking out, God, Jesus was like, "Hold on, y'all tripping." And he was just like, "Peace be still." So, and then then the storm calmed. So sometimes you just gotta do that. Sometimes you just gotta say, "Peace be still." All right, listen, it's something like that. Okay. Let me get you some uh, metaphysical oracle. We're we going to get these oracle messages out today. Y'all can get this message today. What's the message for us today? Oracle messages for the collective. Some things are out of our control. Yeah, look, ego death. <laughs> the tower, the major upheaval. The sudden change, the the fall from grace, the I don't want to do it, but I got to do it now. You know, this could even be an eviction, having to move all of a sudden, uh, getting fired from a job. Your job closes all of a sudden. Family breaks up, a divorce all of a sudden. It's something, something all of a sudden, but holding yourself accountable here. Like I said, taming the beast. Accountability, take accountability for your actions in this in this moment here, in this storm. But there's something here. Let go of control. Let go. Allow yourself to be free. Release yourself from whatever is holding you back. Yeah. Breathe. There's a revolution on the way. Look up. 
raise your vibration yeah there's something there's some things you're gonna have to give up something you're gonna have to give up is a sacrifice something you're gonna have to give up there's something that's gonna have to end in order for this new beginning to happen here what is it what's the message here it's not easy change is not always pleasant yeah we have grace and vision here i feel like god gives us grace to run the race god gave you that vision so go forward step into it walk into it walk into this new opportunity this new beginning this new journey this new thing here walk into it you've already been lost arms and legs in the past metaphorically tell us more yeah look the clarity is here the balance all right the justice is here okay this this is your justice this is the balance this is what you've been praying for this is the answer to your prayers these the pay attention yeah look joy and light the sun happiness expansion growth prosperity healing look at this healing star energy hope faith belief breaking away from toxicities toxic ways of thinking of living family work environments releasing those things yeah look choosing twin flame energy it's already happened something here has already happened and you're just now seeing it so this has already happened in the 5d and it's coming down here in the 3d yeah look the bliss is here the community the hood love i told you y'all got holy love at the beginning of this so maybe you're just now realizing the holy love that you are that you have inside of you god's holy love Maybe some of you are awakening to God's holy love. If it's not a relationship, a physical relationship here on the earthly realm, this could be you waking up to the having a spiritual awakening here to, to, the, to the expansion of your third eye, of your crown chakra, of your spirit, of your soul. This could be a, a soul awakening here for some of you. Okay, so pay attention. Let's see. Let's get some uh, cosmic insight. Tell us more. What do we need to know regarding this message today? God will make it plain for you. Tell us more. What is the message for our viewers today? We have pets. Something about pets. Y'all, I had a dream. I had a, a puppy or something. It's like there was a little dog on the bed. My person that got me a puppy or something. But you know, dogs signify loyalty. So we talk about cycles here, okay? Remember I told you a cycle closing, a cycle was ending here with that hurricane card. Something is ending here. This is karma, okay? Something new, something is beginning here. Look, you guys have guardian angels that are helping you with this situation, okay? They're guiding you with this. So reach out. There's a loved one that watches over you, that's helping you here. We have no, it's not the right time. So something here is not the right time. What's this? Yeah, somebody's watching you. Somebody's definitely looking at you, watching you. Maybe that's, you know, it's not the right time for them to reach out. But they want to take you on a vacation. Or you want to go on a vacation with this person. This could be you watching somebody. It says you would be traveling soon. Yeah, you've been manifesting this. Somebody needs a vacation. Somebody needs a break. Tell us more. Yeah. This was at the bottom before I shuffled. Communicate. Somebody's definitely going to come in and communicate. Somebody wants you to forgive. Somebody wants to compromise and work it out here. Okay. You you, you guys could be uh, dealing with an air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Someone's still figuring themselves out. All right. Well, this is you. What we have here yeah intimacy somebody's thinking about you guys okay they're trying to figure this out here somebody's missing being intimate with you you guys are at a distance 
So maybe that's the the vacation. Somebody could be thinking about taking a trip towards you, or you thinking of taking a trip towards your person. Tell us more. Yeah, it, it says health issues could arise. I feel like your 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 person's heart is just. I'm hearing that. Um, uh, like my legs, I can't walk around without you. Like my heart, the rhythm's bound to change without you. I feel like somebody's the way it beats. You know, um, somebody somebody is really really. Their heart, it's pulling on their heartstrings. It really is not being with you. Okay, this there could be someone else. There could definitely be someone else. You could be dealing with the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or the Earth sign could be the other person. Okay, but we have air energy and Earth energy here right now. Let's see what else. Anything else? We have moving. So maybe you guys are moving. Maybe you're gonna be moving in with your person. Maybe y'all gonna be getting a house together or something. And then y'all gonna get pregnant. Or you are pregnant right now. So somebody's definitely pregnant. There's a lot of love though. Somebody's home is where the heart it says home is where the heart is. So somebody's heart is with you. So if they got somebody pregnant, but their heart is with you. Or it's like they wanna get you pregnant. Anything else? We have intuition and move on. Yeah, your intuition is telling you to move on. Someone is a waste of time. So if this this person here, if they did have someone else or they did get someone pregnant, it's a it's a waste of time and you just need to go ahead and move on, okay? That's not for everybody. That was just a message for somebody here, okay? All right, let's put that away and get another message. All right. What do we have next? All right, we got Romeo and Juliet. Let's see what's going on with Romeo and Juliet. What is the message? What's going on with Romeo and Juliet? We have a dream. I told y'all, pay attention to your dreams. There's some kind of prophecy, some kind of premonition that you're having here, okay? You're being sent messages through your dreams here, all right? There's another woman here. Rosaline was a woman that Romeo was dating before he uh, met Juliet. And Rosaline, I feel like Rosaline is not letting him go. Um, there's something here that that that's, like I said, you're being given signs and reminders here. You see how she's sitting there looking like, mm. She don't look too happy about 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 uh, this situation here. So let's see what's going on here. It says, "I dream my lady came and found me dead and breathed and breathed such life with kisses in my lips that I revived and was an emperor." So this person is 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 dreaming about you. This person is dreaming like Snow White in the woods and the prince come and kiss her and they wake up and live happily ever after but vice versa so this man is like man i wish i could just she could just kiss me and i wake up and we just be you know happily ever after or something like that he just wants to wake up to you whoever this person is let's see tell us more you, know, you could be having dreams about this person somebody's seeking help somebody is getting some kind of help okay they're taking some kind of comfort something yeah it says calm down listen to your inner voice reduce anxiety so like i said peace be still in this storm you need to just calm down i feel like you're overthinking you're you're thinking way too much you need to calm down be like jesus and take a nap in the midst of the storm on that boat yeah i feel like because it's unrequited so maybe you're sending messages to this person or you're calling this person and they're not answering they're not responding something like that this person could be married. Maybe that's why it's unrequited. But somebody's family. This, I feel like this person could be drinking too a lot. Tell us more. Because right now, Romeo and Juliet are not out here. It's these outside people. It's, it's exes and family. <laughs> crossing the barrier yeah i feel like you guys are trying to overcome this i feel like somebody's holding out somebody is not saying something somebody has you on block or they're just not they're putting up a mask somebody's not expressing their real feelings 
Somebody is really not. They really want to say something. They really want to send you these messages, but they hiding it. Yeah, even even Tibal, like it's family. Something has to do with family. I don't know. This person just sitting there on the balcony watching you. I feel like this person could be watching you uh, passing by your house, or they could be watching you online on social media or something. They not saying nothing though. But they want to. The liquor gonna make them say something. You could get a drunk text or something or something. I don't know. I just feel like maybe they're just planning on what to say or something. It, they want to though secretly their intuition or your intuition is telling you to say something but you just won't say nothing i posted a thing today about somebody who keep typing messages up and deleting them instead of just pressing send just press send already i feel like somebody's trying to get back somebody this rosaline girl is determined to do something to your person or you or something child they trying to they trying to mess it up this person even act like they sick just to get your person to come back to them let's say like it's a baby mama oh i'm sick i need you to come take little rick rico or little whoever i need you to girl see romeo and juliet ain't even out here it's time to say goodbye i feel like you need to say goodbye to this person that's holding you back somebody holding you back you need to you need to let that person go get a restraining order or something let me get the tarot because this pissing me off <laughs> this pissing me off let's see tell us more what do we need to know regarding this situation The strength card, having the faith to overcome. Leo energy here, okay? Let's see. What is the strength? What's this? What's this? Tell us more. <laughs> somebody need to take. Somebody need a nap. You need to lay down somewhere. <laughs> you do it too much. You stress it too much. Look, somebody want to say something. Somebody thinking about communicating. In their head. In their head, child. I mean, all up in their head thinking, you know, if you study long, you're going to study wrong. True hierarchy community. Motherfucking Jesus just started following me. Not... <laughs> What? Lord forgive me for using motherfucking and Jesus in the same sentence, but that's just crazy. Tell me more. Tell me more. Look, high priestess energy here. Somebody's intuition. Seven of pentacles. Okay, tower moment here. Trust your intuition. It's not going to lead you wrong. Capricorn energy here with the devil. I, these cards are coming out. The sun, yeah. Something's about to be illuminated. Something's about to be revealed, okay? If you were backstabbed or something, something's about to be revealed. Look, there's a new opportunity. Somebody's coming in or somebody's ended something and they're coming in to take a new opportunity with you. Or you're taking a new leap of faith somewhere towards something stable. Yeah. Somebody's moving forward here with the chariot energy. Trust your intuition with the moon, Pisces, Cancer energy here. Trust your intuition. Some lots of communication is coming in. I'm about to end it right here. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Don't you doubt it. You are being given signs. Trust it. God is trying to tell you something. Go where your heart is. Okay? Go just trust it. Trust your intuition. Do this. Take this leap of faith. Do this. All right? You won't you won't be disappointed. God has your back. All right? I love you, but God loves you more. And if you don't do anything else, dream big, wake up, do it. I'll see you next time.